Hey y'all, so today is another video that I just kind of spur of the moment thought of as I was doing it. Um, so it is laundry day <laughs> and I basically am now to the point where I'm starting to hunt. So I'm doing all of my laundry um, for the year. So what that means is I'm doing everything scent free, fragrance free, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I figured this would be potentially helpful for you guys who might not know how to like keep your scent down. Um, personally, I'm a true believer in hunting the wind. If you hunt the wind properly, it really doesn't matter what you smell like, but that doesn't mean that proper washing and um, using the scent free products, that doesn't mean that that doesn't help. Um, I've definitely had situations where deer should have winded me and didn't. Um, just because I think I was, you know, using the correct stuff. So I'm going to show you what I use and kind of my process for how I do it. Um, it's actually pretty complicated. It really doesn't have to be, but I, I like to just kind of do one big laundry day right before season, um, wash everything, and then, you know, the way I store it and everything like that, I'll show you guys here in a second. Okay, so the first thing to note is there's so many different types of, like, scent free laundry detergent and sprays and all this kind of stuff that's out on the market and honestly like I've tried quite a few different kinds um, there's literally anything from like scent away to a limit shield to like decode just all kinds of stuff that's out there um, I would say for the most part most of it works pretty well um, personally I've only ever really heavily used scent away and this past year I used a limit shield and I don't know scent away has always been my favorite but for like washing and stuff I don't really I don't know I don't really notice like a specific difference between the two um, and the other ones that I've used you know I mean they're kind of they're also similar apparently the science behind all of them is very different so I don't know if that matters but just like personally from my observation, I really haven't noticed anything crazy. And um, most of those bottles are like this big, and when you when you hunt a lot, that's not enough. If you don't hunt a whole lot, that's totally a good amount, but I do a lot of laundry. So I end up using fragrance-free, like regular laundry detergent, and this one's Arm & Hammer for sensitive skin, so no dyes, perfumes, dermatologist tested, hypoallergenic, you know, the clean stuff. Um, but what I'll say about that is like, there are many brands that are also in the regular market that say, oh, we're, you know, free and clear or whatever for perfumes. But then when you actually read the ingredients on the back, it can say something fragrance or it'll have like a legit fragrance. So Arm & Hammer is personally the one that I use. I literally have not had any issues with it and you can get a big gallon of it which is nice and I always do like the smell check For, uh, scent free stuff has this like it has like a semi smell but I don't really know what to consider it you'll just know <laughs> so if you smell this kind you'll know what it's supposed to smell like um, but that is literally what I use the majority of the time. Um, so I'll get into my process. That's actually not step one, but I'll show you guys here. I just wanted to give you examples, but I'll show you the process that I do. So for washing, I would say every now and then, um, it's good to like clean your washer. So what I like to do is I run a cycle of white distilled vinegar. What I usually do is like I'll run, I don't know, just like t-shirts or something and I'll use the scent free detergent and then I will also put the vinegar in the fabric softener section and what that does is kind of cleans out both your washer itself and your clothing. It seriously does not leave a scent on them. I don't necessarily think you have to do it every single time but it's good to run it a few times I think prior to your actual hunting clothing that you're trying to keep completely scent free. Um, I don't know if it's necessary, but it's just something that I do. For the majority of my clothing that's like stuff 
that I might not even wear in the stand, but I will be wearing on trips that I'm hunting, like just t-shirts, shorts, um, even like some of my hunting stuff that's like thinner material, like a t-shirt or like a, a little thin jacket, stuff like that. I don't always feel the need to like over eliminate the scent. Um, so I'll just wash that like normal, um, kind of go by whatever the tag says on your stuff. Like I don't have an issue throwing it all together, but, um, there really isn't anything special that you have to do when it comes to washing, just wash as you would. And then I like to either line dry like my hunting stuff and then like the regular stuff I'll put in the dryer, but I'll do very low heat and usually just the time dried. But one thing that's important, one thing that's important is making sure that you clean out your, I don't even know what it's called, the dryer lint catch. Um, because that a lot of times if you're not cleaning it out every single time one it can cause a fire But two it'll um, hold on to the scent of anything that you had in other loads So I definitely don't think that that's something that you should skip over um, the second thing I would say is uh, There's really no need for dryer sheets um, personally the only time I use them is if it's very very like dry and staticky and you're noticing a lot of like static electricity um dryer sheets actually leave like a waxy residue on your clothing um so i really try to shy away from those um especially obviously the scented ones there are ones that are unscented on the market which are totally fine and i really do like to use those if my stuff is just like static and clinging um but that's about the only time i use those sometimes to speed the process up i'll use like a um detergent and then just like put clothes or whatever in a bin and then just let it soak that way you don't have to go through the whole process of washing and this is like helpful if you're on the road i also use that to wash my backpacks and any kind of gear like my saddle any sort of fabric that's obviously not going to go in the washer and dryer um that needs washed still like this backpack has literally been through <laughs> the ringer and it, get, it gets so smelly, like to the point where I can smell it. So, mostly because I'm a sweaty person, unfortunately, but like it really helps clean that kind of stuff that, you know, stuff you wouldn't know how else to wash. And then on the bigger garments, like jackets, my vests, um, you know, pants, stuff like that. I obviously like to line dry because I think it's the best. Sometimes you gotta rotate them because they don't always dry on the inside, but it's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I kind of just hang it out, let it dry, and then as it dries, I live and die by totes. I literally use them for everything. Um, I just think they're perfect storage because you can take stuff in and out, you can keep it in your car, do whatever you need to do, um, and it, keeps scents from getting in there so that's like my favorite favorite thing to do is just like wash all my stuff once really good in the beginning of the year and then I just live out of these so when I'm hanging stuff up I like to spray it down before it's dry with scent killer all over that way it can dry and it's clean and it's got the barrier on it that with all this stuff okay so I'm sure you're also wondering um, what I do as far as like showering and um, honestly I use like you know scent away or whatever other brand that I use the detergent for um, like I'll use that shampoo and or body wash sometimes um, but I also like um, to use CeraVe, Vee, Sarah Bay, however you want to say it. Um, like, this is the facial facial cleanser, so I use it on my face and then occasionally on my body too. I really think it's the same thing, honestly. Um, and then I also have the lotion, so all of this is like fragrance free, so um, you can use it. And then, so for like shampoos and stuff, I use just like the normal like hunting brands whatever there's like a million that are out there but I always found that this made my hair just like 
gross and like very stringy and like straw feeling um, and I hated that and I have a ton of hair and I need to be able to brush through it and if I just use shampoo I can't brush through my hair um, so I have tried a few different kinds and <laughs> this is kind of obnoxious but I have a gallon of this zero derm advanced therapy moisturizing conditioner and it's fragrance free so I can still use conditioner and it's like actually like I have done a lot of research on shampoo and conditioners and this one is pretty good so um, I just buy the big thing of it because then you can just use it and then I'll just fill like little travel size these like travel size things for like if I'm on the road so I don't have to carry a gallon of conditioner with me um so yeah that's like pretty much what I do um I honestly like I'll either use this or this just as like a body wash too just kind of whatever I have on hand or whatever so hopefully that's helpful um I struggled with that for years and years so I was like okay I'm doing research and so I found some fragrance free conditioner like I said I'm sure there's probably other brands but just make sure um, you read the ingredients and not just the label that says fragrance free because sometimes they lie so another helpful thing that I find that I like is adding a piece of wood that is like common in whatever area you're hunting so this is cedar wood and you just like obviously put clothes or boots or whatever in your bin and then you can put this in and it kind of adds like just that natural scent where it's not too overpowering but also kind of you know gives it something um obviously this is not necessary but i just i think it's helpful um especially if you're like on the road and you can't always wash your stuff as much this helps and you just have to like kind of scratch it every now and then like with a piece of sandpaper or something and that releases like the the natural oils and the odors and then for my boots i have this like odor eliminator spray if i don't have time to like dry them out every night and let them air out i just like use that it's hot out um so Moral of the story is um, you don't need to be quote unquote scent free to kill deer because at the end of the day, we're all human and we're all always producing sweat and scent and um, you know, our body just being alive is creating smell. So if you're like me, which is unfortunate because I sweat so badly, um, so it's kind of amazing that I get away with what I get away with. But the reason that I go through all this um, is because I like to um, look at it like if you play the wind properly, you know, if you're if you're making sure that you're in the correct spots um, and doing the best you can, that's great. You know, that's probably the best thing that you can do. But there are situations where deer want to come downwind. Um, come circle you, check you out, figure out what's going on, or, you know, they might literally just come from a direction that you're not expecting. So, um, it definitely helps to have that extra barrier where you're not necessarily eliminate, eliminating scent because you can't, you just can't do that. I mean, you might be able to temporarily if, with a shower, but within a few minutes, you're already producing scent. Your, your mouth, your nose, you know, you're just your sweat, your body, whatever. So if you can create that barrier within your clothing to keep it within, <laughs> within yourself, essentially, so you're not just spreading scent everywhere, um, I look at it like that's obviously something that can be beneficial to you in those certain, you know, situations where deer are not where they should be or not where you're wanting them to be. So um, that's why I do it. And yes, um, as I'm using my clothing throughout the year, I do need to wash it again sometimes if I'm really using like a few pieces, like my base layers, they get really smelly all the time. So um, if I'm on the road, I'll bring some detergent and just wash them in the, um, like in a tub of a hotel or in the shower and you know, that kind of helps. And then obviously I bring the spray, field spray so that I can, you know, spray down as much as possible. And 
scent holds on to moisture so if you're gonna spray down I recommend doing it with enough time that it has the time to dry before you're gonna go out into the field um, and that's just like something that I've observed is you know when you're sweaty when it's hot out or um, even if it's like dewy on the ground in the morning anytime you walk in that's like when your scent is clinging to things the most um, why that is I'm not sure of, of the science but I noticed that deer definitely you know they pick out my trail and, and find me a lot easier that way so that's just something to maybe pay attention to just make sure your stuff is as dry as possible because um, that's just going to keep your scent down and I don't know I think that's about it it's really hot and I'm definitely sweating today but it's the best day to do it is like on a sunny day because all your stuff can just dry and you can throw it right in the totes. Um, as you can see, I literally, literally live out of them. I put like my boots, that's another thing. I put my boots um, in totes. I find that rubber boots um, are the most scent free. Like I can walk on a trail and deer have no idea that I was just there as opposed to wearing like just a normal hiking boot. Um, you know, that's being very particular, but I'm very particular. Um, I try to just stay as scent free as possible because I feel um, just within my own experience I've had deer so close to me that they should have smelled me and just haven't and I just think it's because of like the routine of things that I do um, just to keep my scent scent as low as possible and as, as uh, concealed as possible so hopefully that was helpful and season's coming up and I'm gonna go finish laundry <laughs> So I know that's not the most exciting topic in the world, but I don't know if that would be helpful to you guys. And I also find, this is just like a side thing, like I was saying with my backpacks, I spray down and wash everything, like my saddle, you know, anything that has any kind of fabric or something that scent would cling to, boots, um, you know, backpacks obviously, just literally hats, gloves, socks, underwear, towels. Um, I try not to, you know, even like my, my bed, I spray that down, like, or I like wash that with scent free detergent. That way I'm just like avoiding the fragrances. Um, it's not that I'm trying to eliminate scent per se, but it's just like, I don't want to add any extra. So that's kind of my thought process behind it. And it works for me. I get close to deer. So I really, I really can't complain with that. If it's something that you don't <laughs> feel like doing, then by all means do your own thing. But um, that just is what works for me. So hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you guys in the next one and who knows what it'll, what it'll be. <laughs>